welcome to the Oshawa Community Museum podcast with your host, Melissa Cole. Hello, this is Melissa Cole, curator of the Oshawa Community Museum. Today we're going to talk about a popular Victorian novelty, the stereoscope. In modern times, we can easily experience the thrills of three-dimensional images through the recent revival in 3D film, television, and books. However, back in the early Victorian era, 3D imaging was much less accessible to the general public. The stereoscope is an early device that was invented for people to view images in three dimensions. The first stereoscopes were developed between 1830 and 1840, and famed photographers such as Daguerre, of Daguerreotype fame, had helped in the device's development. The first patented stereo viewer was Sir Charles Wheatstone's reflecting stereoscope in 1838. The device was a bulky and complicated gadget that utilized a system of mirrors to view a series of drawings in 3D. After Queen Victoria had taken a liking to a similar device invented by Jules de Bosc at the Crystal Palace Exposition in 1851, the stereoscope exploded with popularity in the United Kingdom and soon in North America. It was around this time that the statesman Oliver Wendell Holmes created a streamlined, much more economical viewer than previous models. This became known as the Holmes Stereoscope. Its small size and ease of use made it wildly popular, and any proper Victorian parlor typically had at least one Holmes Stereoscope inside. At the Oshawa Community Museum, we have two of the Holmes-style stereoscopes on display, one in our Henry House parlor and one in our Robinson House general store. They are lightweight, made of tin and wood, with velvet accents. The stereoscope consists of an oval-shaped viewer casing that one would hold over the eyes. There are two square windows located directly in front of the eyes, and the lower half also has an area where the viewer's nose would comfortably fit into place. A long arm protrudes from the base of the viewer and is intersected with an additional component that was used to secure the stereoscopic pictures in place. This component can move up and down the elongated arm that it rests on in order to adjust the proximity of these views. So how do these stereoscopes work? The traditional stereoscope creates a 3D illusion from a pair of 2D images, also known as a stereogram or stereoscopic photo. The images are almost exactly alike with minor differences in depth of field or a minor change in perspective. The stereo viewer would be held up to the face with the stereograms placed in front of the eyes. As the viewer would look through the prismatic lenses, the eyes would blend the two images together. Because the right and left eyes see a slightly different version of the same scene, the merging of these two images produces the perception of 3D. Stereoscope slides that were produced allowed people to experience a tour of the entire world from the comfort of their own home. Popular slides contain pictures of everything from European countrysides to ancient Egyptian tombs. There is also a large demand for slides depicting current events, from glamorous world fairs to devastating natural disasters. For a short time, camera companies such as Kodak even developed stereo cameras for people to take stereoscopic pictures in their own home and travels. Our museum has a large collection of these slides to use with our stereoscopes. If you'd like to see these stereoscopes, come down and visit us at Oshawa's Lakeview Park. We're open for tours Tuesday to Friday from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. and on Sundays from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Thank you for listening.